Before we continue on with the second part of the assignment, I want to point out a couple of things um, that you might not know about Excel. First of all, um, in Excel you can have several worksheets. Okay, um, I think the entire thing is called a workbook, but inside the workbook we can have several worksheets. This sheet where um, the summary data for uh, our gasoline data was created it labeled sheet one. This sheet was added when we created or went through the process to create the histogram. The first sheet here or that was here in the file is the histogram um, sheet. So when I click on it I can see the data that's there or whatever information I had there. Here's another sheet that's the time series sheet. So um, know that there are different sheets in the Excel file and so there's no need really to create multiple files. You can have um, several different worksheets within the one file. Okay, So keep that in mind. So for the second part we're actually using the data that's on the um, worksheet labeled time series. And the first thing I want to do is calculate the aggregate miles per gallon. Um, that is we want to see um, how many miles per gallon we were getting at the first fill up and then how many miles per gallon we were getting at the first plus the second fill up and then how many at the first plus the second plus the third fill up so we're actually putting all of our miles per gallons or rather our miles driven and our gallons purchased together to get a long run um, average of how many miles per gallon we are getting um, when we drive this particular vehicle. So to do that first thing I'm going to do is add a label aggregate miles per gallon and I'll quickly show you how you can get your data to wrap this way. Um, you could either do it by the entire row or by the cell. Just do a right click and select format cells and on the alignment tab you will see the option to wrap text. Okay, This would cause our text to wrap within the box so that it doesn't extend this out um, so that it looks like what we have here. Okay so now what I'm going to do is for the first one well before I do this I also want to add in um, some observation numbers. So I'm going to add in a column by first clicking on column A and doing a right click and insert. And that'll shift everything over. We'll label this one observation. Okay. And uh, we'll just number it one, two, I believe we said we had 54 observations. So I'm just going to um, use my automatic fill. I highlighted the one and the two and then use my fill handle to fill in my numbers all the way down to 54. Okay, so now back over here to our aggregate miles per gallon. What I want to do is begin this first one with equals miles divided by gallons. That gives me my miles per gallon. Okay. For the second one, I want to add up the miles driven for one and two and divide that by the gallons purchased for one and two. So it's going to look like equals and I'm going to use the function sum followed by parentheses. So I want the sum of one and two, close parentheses, divided by the sum of B1 and B2 close parentheses okay and so that adds up those first two observations for me okay now you might think we can just do the magic handle on this but that won't quite work if I do that notice here it adds up C3 to C4 B3 to B4 it left out uh, the first observation that's in row 2 so the way we can fix this is go back to cell D2 and in front of the 2 on C2 and also on B2 I'm going to put a dollar sign. This anchors 
um, the the row so that when I drag it down that row number won't change okay so let's hit enter and now let's drag it down and we'll look at a few of them notice here it's C2 it begins at C2 and B2 okay at our next one it begins at C2 goes to C6 B2 goes to B6 so using that dollar sign anchors it for us and we could have used that with our class width um, in the previous video um, but we decided not to do that there but that's how you would get it to anchor so that you wouldn't have to type in a, a specific number okay and so I'll go ahead and drag this down for the rest of our values and so by the time we get to observation 54 we're adding up the um, miles per gallon from C2 to C55 and then dividing it by the gallons from uh, B2 to B55 these actually C2 to C55 would be our miles is let's just highlight our aggregate data and go to insert line and there that looks pretty good okay that's what we wanted put the observation numbers in for us so we didn't have to actually do that all right if we stretch this out a little bit then it gives us a better picture of it of course uh, we've got a nice title but we don't have any labels on our axes so um, we'll go ahead and select a format for our chart that gives us a place to put in that label on our axis uh, this one looks pretty good I think yes so we've got a place to put in our axis title uh, we could say something like observation number I'm gonna make this a little larger as well and over here we can put in aggregate miles per gallon okay and that's about it um, pretty simple again if we wanted to we could stretch this out you want to make a statement about this okay it, it's first of all you should note that uh, there's not a large range of values it's only about two miles per gallon difference but um, definitely you should see a, a kind of pattern come out of this um, and be able to make a statement about it okay so we want you to do the same thing for your project and submit it to the Dropbox by the due date